If you've been watching this channel long enough, you know we love Chase Ultimate Rewards. My wife loves Chase Ultimate Rewards since she became a high globalist. Do you want to learn how to earn some additional Chase Ultimate Rewards through some elevated sign-up offers? We're going to talk about it. Let's go. Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to be awesome. Give us a big ol' thumbs up on this video if you find it entertaining and helpful. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications for alerts. It's time to check in on some new elevated offers from Chase. In particular, their Chase Sapphire product line. Now, American Express has been kicking some butt in 2021 with their offers. And I think Chase was feeling the heat because now they're getting back in the game with some amazing offers on their Chase Sapphire product line. In this video, we're gonna talk about their elevated offers for the Chase Sapphire Reserve and the Chase Sapphire Preferred. This is not gonna be a direct comparison video in detail of those two cars because that will be coming up in the near future, so make sure you stay tuned for that. In this particular video, we're just gonna talk about the offers themselves and what you can get with each one of these cards. Not only that, but we're gonna talk about eligibility for both of these cards, and we're gonna talk about what getting all these ultimate rewards really means and what kind of value you can expect to get. So stay tuned towards the end of the video, and we're gonna give some real world examples of what you can expect to get out of all of these ultimate rewards from the signup bonuses offered. So let's start with the Chase Sapphire Preferred first. The Chase Sapphire Preferred is offering an 80,000 point signup offer if you spend $4,000 within the first three months. They are also offering a $50 statement credit for groceries, which is really interesting because the Chase Sapphire Preferred is a mid-tier travel card. And I personally don't think about this as a grocery go-to card by any means, but heck, it's a $50 statement credit, so I'll go for it. Hell yes. So think about this, the Chase Sapphire Preferred has a $95 annual fee. You get a $50 statement credit for groceries, so essentially you're looking at a $45 annual fee. And you know from watching this channel, we strive to get two cents per point out of our Chase Ultimate Rewards when we use transfer partners like Hyatt. So if we do that in this case, two cents per point times 80,000 points is about $1,600 worth of value and keep in mind, you also get that $50 statement credit. So a pretty decent value. And in fact, this is the best sign-up bonus that we have seen from the Chase Sapphire Preferred so far. So if you've been on the fence about whether to get it, this may be a good time to do it. Now moving on to the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, Chase Sapphire Reserve is offering a 60,000 point sign-up bonus if you spend $4,000 within three months. Now the big kicker with this one, and a lot of people freak out about this, is it carries a $550 annual fee. Whoa! That's a lot, Brandon. I don't want a $550 annual fee. I don't like it. But keep this in mind, although it does have a hefty annual fee, the card itself does offer a lot of perks and benefits that can help offset that cost. And again, we'll detail that in a later video. And again, if we're striving for two cents per point on a 60,000 point sign-up offer, that's $1,200 worth of value. So Brandon, this sounds great. The elevated offers sound amazing and maybe one of these cards is right for me, but am I eligible? There are a lot of written rules with Chase and a lot of unwritten rules with Chase credit card applications. The biggest rule that you wanna follow is to make sure that you are under 524. In short, make sure you have not opened more than five personal credit cards within a 24 month period or you are almost assured of not getting approved for a Chase card. So make sure you're under 524. Another rule you wanna keep in mind is if you've received a sign-up bonus with any Chase Sapphire product in the last 48 months, you will not receive another sign-up bonus offer until that 48 months is up. So for example, I received the Chase Sapphire Preferred in November of 2019. If I tried to apply for the Chase Sapphire Reserve right now, even though they have an elevated offer, I wouldn't be eligible because it hasn't been 48 months since I received my last sign-up bonus with the Chase Sapphire Preferred. So I would not be eligible for a Sapphire sign-up bonus until December of 2023, which would be 48 months after my last bonus. So keep that in mind. And also keep this rule in mind, you can only have one Sapphire product open at one time. So for example, if you have a Chase Sapphire Preferred card open and it's been 48 months and you're thinking, hey, I'd really like to get this elevated offer back on this Sapphire Preferred card, you'll either have to cancel that card or we would recommend downgrading that to the Chase Freedom Unlimited or the Chase Freedom Flex. So that will allow you to then sign up for a new Chase Sapphire card and collect this elevated offer. And lastly, you'll need an average credit score in the 700s to be eligible for these cards. 
All right, Brandon, so that sounds great. I love the elevated offers. I am eligible for one or the other, but what does it mean at the end of the day? What do you mean? What do you mean? We always like to talk about accumulating points, but what does it get you at the end of the day? And we're gonna talk about that right now. So let's say that you want to take you and your family on a week-long vacation to Orlando. With the 80,000 point sign-up bonus, you'd be able to take your family to Orlando for seven nights and stay at the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress for 12,000 points per night. So my family and I stayed here uh, in fall of 2020, and it was an amazing property, all right? They've got their own private lake, they've got a walking trail, they've got paddle boats, they've got vo beach volleyball, they've got swimming pools everywhere, they've got water slides, all kinds of cool features about this property. So if you want to stay there for a week this upcoming Labor Day, it would set you back $1,945. Now the welcome offer and required spend alone on the Sapphire Preferred covers the entire week's lodging for you. So you'll get 2.3 cents per point by doing that. So think about that, a week's long family vacation in Orlando off the sign up bonus for one credit card with a $95 annual fee. Don't let anybody tell you you can't take week long vacations. Don't sit around and think, well, I can only afford to do long weekends. No. I just showed you how to do it. With a sign-up bonus on one card, you can take the whole crew with you down to Orlando. I just covered the lodging for you. Well, Brandon, I don't want to take my family with me on a week-long trip to Orlando. I just want to go with my spouse and get away for a while. Okay, well, how about four nights for two adults in Cabo? You could stay at the Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos December 29th through January 2nd to ring in the new year, and at only 20,000 points per night, you'll get to experience um, the all-inclusive property. This includes all your food and drinks, which is awesome. And if you pay the cash rate for this, it'll set you back $3,100 for four nights. Or you could use the sign-up bonus from the Chase Sapphire Preferred, get 3.8 cents per point, and stay for four nights for free. So what about the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card? Keep in mind, this one is offering a 60,000 point sign-up bonus offer. And my family and I plan to visit Chicago this Memorial weekend. So 60,000 points will get you four nights at the Category 4 Thompson Chicago. So this is where we're going to be staying, and I cannot wait to wolf down just a ton of Chicago deep dish pizza. So if you want to take the family on fall break to Chicago and stay at the hotel, it would set you back $1,350. Or you could use your 60,000 point sign up from the Chase Sapphire Reserve, get 2.3 cents per point, and have that stay be free. Yeah! So in fact, if you went to Chicago during this time period, you would pay more for the deep dish pizza than you would for the lodging. And lastly, let me throw in an aspirational property like Ventana Big Sur. Now this is a property that my wife and I have wanted to stay at for a long time, but there's a big reason that we haven't. It's super expensive. Let me crunch the numbers for you and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I hope to stay here in 2022, possibly on my wife's birthday, and it'll set you back 30,000 points per night. So you'll get two nights from the sign up on the Sapphire Reserve. So this is one property that I do not want to pay the cash rate for because two nights, let's say April 3rd through April 5th of 2022, would cost me $3,836. I don't see myself ever paying that much for two nights anywhere. However, I will throw down 60,000 Chase Ultimate Rewards from the sign-up bonus on the Sapphire Reserve and get 6.3 cents per point value out of that. So think about that. Earlier I mentioned we strive for two cents per point when we're trying to look at the value of our ultimate rewards, but in this case, we can get 6.3 cents per point. That is why you subscribe to this channel, and that's why you watch. I just gave you four different vacations to look at off the sign-up bonus from one of these two cards. There are options out there to travel and live like everybody else when you scroll through your Facebook feed and you say, oh, how are they traveling so much? Maybe it's because they're taking advantage of sign-up offers like these. And I hope this has been helpful to show you not only what the elevated offers are, but are you eligible? And what the heck does it all mean anyway? So let me know down in the comments, what would you do with a 60,000 or 80,000 point sign-up offer? How do you use your Chase Ultimate Rewards? Do you like to hoard them and put them in a big pile and just keep them stocked up for a rainy day? Or do you like to earn them and burn them and jet set all over the world? Let us know, and especially if you have any unique properties that you really like to stay at, let us know down in the comments. We'd like to hear about your travels. We'd like to hear what you're doing with these sign-up offers, and it helps everybody else out too. We really appreciate you watching this video today. We hope you found it helpful and entertaining. And keep in mind, when you click on The Brandon Boyd Show, it's time to check in on everything new with money, credit cards, points, and miles, and travel. 
As always, don't forget to be awesome. Give us a big old thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And this train's going to keep on going. We're going to keep producing great content for you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Brandon Boyd Show. We will see you soon.